Hey there, Lick and Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome arrangement lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which you're going to learn Hallelujah, the classic Leonard Cohen song. So first I'm going to play it for you so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're going to break it down lick by lick, note by note, with tabs right here on screen as usual. It goes like this. Enjoy. Okay, so the first chord you're gonna play is G add 9, which kind of looks like D over G. So you can think about it any way you want. You can call it G add 9 or D over G. Let me just remind you of the Black Friday special that's going on right now. If you go to my website and check out my courses, my guitar courses from beginner to advanced, uh, plethora of guitar courses including the full break your boundaries program which includes all 25 courses black friday is on so check it out the link is in the description as well as for the tabs the tabs are for free as usual so now put on g add nine like this it's g on the bass string okay three and you have two and three on strings three and two, okay, which is inside D, but this time it's a G chord. Now, interesting note, if you play D with G on the bass, it's G major seven. So basically, you can think about this as D over G if it makes it easier for you to put on the chord. So um, that's it. The melody is the chord twice. Okay, I pick strings two and three twice. And then I just slide it. Okay, I slide from three and two to five and four. And I play five and four with the E bass string open. And this gives me E minor. So it's G add nine. Do it again, and then you have C add nine, which is C with three on the second string. So I just put two fingers on, okay, because we're not picking the D string, there's no reason to put on this note. So, okay, we're just picking strings one, two, and five 
or one, two, three, and five. So the melody note is the high E string, but again, we want an arrangement. So I pick both notes okay? for harmony. Okay, and we also have a common tone with that G chord before, so it becomes thematic. Okay, so. Okay, now you play the whole chord with the bass on the second note. Okay, so it's. Okay, and then you have the open E string again, and then you have D with the open E string. Okay, so it's. And then, okay, three, three, one on the second string, and then you have G, okay? Not G at nine, just G with three on the second string. So the third string is open now, okay? So what we had so far, okay, was G at nine, slide to E minor, and then again, you can slide back down. at nine D okay it's D sus two right technically and then G and then D again so to make it interesting I'm playing D over F sharp okay which is D with two on the bass okay I'm using my thumb you can use a finger if that's more convenient for you and then, okay, then it's G again, threes all the way on the second string, and then you have C at nine, but this time you play the second string first. Okay, and then you have the open E string, and then D, with two on the first string, so you get this. Okay, so it's the same chords, but it's, a completely different expression. So, C at nine, and then D. And then it's E minor with three on the first ring. Okay, so it's just three on the first ring with open strings, two, three, and six. And then it's this. Okay, it's C major seven, but you have to put on uh, kind of an uncommon shape. Okay, it's three on springs one and five, but with your two first fingers, okay, um, because you need your little finger for five on the first ring. So the line is three, three, five. Okay, and then you have five again, giving you time to change into D, okay, which is D with five. So it's five, three, two, and the D string. And then it's B, okay, just a B chord. Okay, so seven, seven on the first string. And then 10 on the second with your little finger. And then it's E minor, so, okay, so I'm playing B little finger and then letting the chord go and I'm picking strings one two three and six E minor with that slide from ten to eight and then eight again on the second string and then hammer on to three on the second string and then C at nine the E string is your melody Then strings one and two and E minor. Okay? The open second string is your melody. Now, of course, if you want to accompany yourself a little bit more, okay, you can put on the chord if you want to pick those notes. Okay, if not, you can just Okay, you can just pick open strings. That's the beauty of E minor. And then you have the C add nine line again. And then strings one and two. And then it's G 
with the open second string. One pull off to zero on the second string, and then it's D over F sharp. Okay? D over F sharp, and this time we pick strings four, three, and six. Okay, so even if you put on the whole chord, okay, it's still a bassy variation. Okay, so I'm just putting on two fingers. Okay, on two and two on strings three and six with the open D string. You can pull off to the open third string or pick it. Okay, so it's and the G with the open third string. That's basically it. You just uh, you just repeat the song. So beautiful, so simple, so beautiful. Um, so download the tab. The link is below in the description. Check out the Break Your Boundaries course program or the different individual courses. Black Friday is on, so have fun, take advantage of it, and I'm looking forward to see you inside the courses. Thank you for watching, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And you have fun with this arrangement of hallelujah. So uh, bye for now and uh, looking forward to seeing you again.